Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, we are going to see about what is DAX in Power BI and if you are looking for what is a calculated column or measure in Power BI, this is the video for you. So DAX is a data analysis expression and by definition, it is a library of functions and operators that can be combined to build formulas and expressions used by Microsoft BI tools. DAX is also known as a functional language where the full code is kept inside a function. When you know DAX, you can use it in following tools, Power BI and in Excel, you can use it as a Power Pivot add-in in Excel. And it is a language for SSAS tabular model cubes and Azure analysis service. So it's one language, many tools as a bonus. So basically in simpler terms, it's a language used to create your calculated columns or measures that will enhance your uh, dashboards with analytical capabilities. Let's see what is a calculated column or measure. So calculated column, when you need to use, it expands a table by creating a new column. It is like a derived column in SQL. It is stored along with the table consumes memory so you need to ensure that if uh, it's uh, going to be a very big table and you are restoring a value that consumes memory right so instead of that you can store create a measure so you will learn in future how to use when to use calculated column and measure for now just understand it is stored along with the table and it has very less analytical capabilities compared to measures on contrast, you have a measure. It summarizes data into a single value. So what it means is like you want uh, total sales, total profit, something like that. So it having it calculates uh, some aggregations, then that value will be stored in a single variable uh, called measure. Okay, it's not a variable, it's a measure. So, and it is calculated at runtime. It is not stored on contrast with the calculated column in a table. So it is calculated at runtime. Only the formula is stored in a measure. It has rich analytical capabilities, meaning like you want to do some kind of um, year on year analysis, uh, total YTD, and you, well, there are a lot, okay? You will see it in uh, future videos. Let's explore some examples. You see, if you want a um, calculated column like this, you have a product item and product category, then you need to go for a calculated column that combines two columns. Similarly, you want to have a profit, then you can create a column here that uh, subtracts your uh, sales amount and cost amount. So that will give you the profit. So these kind of operations, you can do it in calculated column whereas in measure you see there is always a summarization or aggregators you need to use so you have a total sales sum of sales amount which is nothing but this will return only a single value and it will be stored here okay so that is what it is similarly total profit you see like sum of sales amount minus sum of cost amount. The difference between total profit and this profit in the calculated column is that it refers the column, it refers the value. The sum of sales amount will return some value, subtracts the value. So only the value is um, calculated here and this value also not stored in a table. This will be calculated only at the runtime. As I said, the rich analytical capability, a simple a formula like this like calculate sum of sales amount same period last year if you want to compare this quarter uh, 2018 quarter 3 is to be compared with 2017 quarter 3 this is the formula for you so it is very simple by its uh, for formula by nature and it's very difficult to write sometimes so that is what uh, DAX is all about so with this uh, examples I'm pretty much clear what is the calculated column and uh, measure let's explore our business scenario
So we are building um, uh, Naga garments, I mean dashboard for the Naga garments. And let's explore this tax expression for this business. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the button right now. So we are in uh, Power BI desktop now. And um, we have this uh, sample data. For him, we want, for him, we want, for him, we want to create uh, some calculated columns and measure. So based on that, we will try to understand when to create calculated column and measure. So first thing, if you want to combine these two columns, okay, then you need to go for calculated columns like jeans, levies, and casual wear. So click on this and click on new column. I will um, name it as uh, product full name. Let us refer the column name product name. The ambassador symbol is the concatenator here. Ambassand product category. So remove that. So it's as simple as that. Okay. Just you can remove the table name, it's fine if you don't have anything. So I have given a product full name. You see here uh, the product name hyphen category name. So as per this property of uh, calculated column, expands the table by creating a new column. So a new column is created, your table is expanded, and these values are stored along with the table as the these table values are stored this also is stored as part of your uh, table that is what the main difference is let's try to create one measure like total sales so i want to have a total sales amount I will create um, total sales here sum of your sales amount okay so here you have aggregator and your column name table name and column name when you press enter you see here there is no column new column created instead you can see um, let me move this one instead you see here a total sales column which is nothing but your measure okay so uh, the difference between these two columns is like you can see it's a calculated column the difference in icons here it is a measure okay it's a calculated uh, measure that is what the icon difference is now let's see it in a report so let me put it here so i want to have a product name full name voice okay my total sales i can see it okay so basically this value is not stored anywhere but when i refer this column in my report at that time it will automatically calculate see the total sales is 660 okay if you ask me what it does if you see the formula by definition the total sales formula is um, hold on it's not loading so total sales is sum of sales amount instead i can use the sales amount as well right I mean my sales amount measure also gives me the same result let me do that one for you I'm copying uh, this chart come on okay so instead of total sales measure uh, if I use sales amount okay what was my data it is same the sales amount is 660 this is by uh, using a measure this is by using a column direct reference okay so why we need to create a simple measure like this is like um, 
sometimes in your projects you will not refer this column i mean in your uh, database or source system this column might change in future at that time all this if you are using directly this column right the sales amount directly like this you assume you have uh, 10 to 15 sheets and instead of uh, i mean if you use this column this column name is changed then you need to go and manually change all the reports when the name is changed instead if you create a measures like this okay what it will do is like uh, you are referring this measure in all your reports so only changing here the new column name will solve all the references in other charts so that is the main advantage even it is a simple um, calculation or simple sum like this instead of directly pulling from the columns you can use a calculated measure like this so i think uh, for this introduction to dax this uh, uh, is clear i hope uh, you have a calculated column here which will store by default in the database whereas your measure won't be stored in your tables it will be calculated at runtime if you guys like this video share and subscribe to the channel and comment below for your queries do remember that data is your asset